Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a nice homemade exponential equation, a very non-standard equation. We have 2 to the power x squared plus 2 to the power x equals 2 to the power x root x plus 1 and we're going to be solving for x values. Take a look at this equation and you could probably guess a solution or two, right? Possibly, hopefully. But how do we find all the solutions and how do we go about solving them, right? So we have a very interesting scenario here, uh, which we're going to be using an inequality for. And I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you the name of the inequality as well. Maybe some of you already know the AM GM inequality. What does that mean? If A and B are non-negative numbers, then their arithmetic mean, which is their average, is greater than or equal to their geometric mean. Of course, this is not just true for two numbers that are non-negative, but also for any number of numbers. But in the case of two numbers, it's fairly easy to prove because if you think about it, this will give you a plus b over 2 minus root a b if you put everything on the left hand side. And this will just become the root a minus root b squared divided by 2, which is obviously never negative. Of course, a and b have to be non-negative in order for this to for this to be well defined. So we have that requirement. But square root of x already takes care of that because if square root of x is well defined, that means x is greater than or equal to 0. Make sense? Okay, cool. So, and what happens when do we have an equality? Because this is a non-strict inequality. Well, when a and b are equal, of course, that's the case, then their uh, arithmetic mean is the same as their geometric mean. Obviously, that's clearly uh, obvious, right? Hopefully. So, how do we use the AMGM inequality, this is what it's called, AMGM, AM for arithmetic mean and GM for geometric mean. So here's how we can start. Look, focus on the exponents first, okay? We have x squared and x. So if you apply it, we know that uh, they're both non-negative. If you apply those numbers to our inequality, then we should be getting something like this, right? And x squared plus x divided by 2. And this is equal to square root of x cubed. Again, that's a non-negative quantity because x is non-negative. If you multiply both sides by 2 and write the result, you can write this basically as x squared plus x is greater than or equal to 2 times the square root of x cubed. And notice that square root of x cubed can be written as square root of x squared times x which can be written as x times the square root of x. Make sense? So we can write this as 2x root x. In other words, we know that x squared plus x is always greater than or equal to 2x square root of x when x is greater than or equal to 0. Make sense? Well, you can test out some numbers, like try, of course, pick a perfect square for x. Uh, let's say x is equal to 9, right? 9 squared plus 9 is equal to 90, and 2 times 9 times 3 is 54. And definitely 90 is a winner, it's bigger. And left-hand side is always going to be bigger. But when is that an equality? We already talked about it, but I don't want to apply it to this case yet, because we're going to do that at the very end. Make sense? Okay, so far this is what we have, but notice that we have... 2 to the power something. So we have an exponential equation, right? So how do we go from this to the exponentials? Easy. We're going to go ahead and just raise 2 to the power both sides. I want to say raise both sides to the power something, but that's not the case. These are going to be the exponents. So if this is true, then isn't it true that 2 to the power x squared plus x is greater than or equal to 2 to the power 2x square root of x. Isn't that right? Okay, that's a good question, right? Well, it directly implies, because think about it. You use a higher power, you get a higher result, right? Exactly, because the base is constant in this case. Okay, let's save this for now, because this doesn't give us the solution. Notice that in our original problem, we have the sum of these two powers. But here, they're combined. Hmm. So here's what we're going to do. 
We're going to start with the left-hand side of our equation. What is the original problem again? 2 to the x squared plus 2 to the x equals 2 to the power. What was the right-hand side? I forgot. x root x plus 1. Okay. We're close, but we don't have the exact same thing. Right? How do we go from this to that or from that to this? Something like that. Okay. Here's what we can do. We can start with the left-hand side, which is 2 to the power x squared plus 2 to the power x and apply the AM GM inequality one more time. This is what makes this problem more fun. Of course, it's homemade, so that's also more fun. Uh, the fact that we use AM GM twice. Okay, anyways, so here's how we can use it. The arithmetic mean of these two quantities is gonna be greater than or equal to their geometric mean, which is square root of two to the x squared times two to the x. This is how we can bring these two together because notice that you do have a product here, here I mean, but here you have a sum. So that's the relationship between these two things. Make sense? Let's go to multiply both sides by two. We're gonna do something fun. Two to the x squared plus two to the x is gonna be greater than or equal to two times the square root of two to the x squared times two to the x, which definitely can be written as 2 to the x squared plus x. Now I can add the exponents because they are being multiplied. And guess what? This is the perfect time to use this. Take a look at that. Let me copy that here so you can see clearly. We had the this inequality already, right? So now we can go ahead and use that inequality right here. How? We can go ahead and say that, okay, since we have this expression right here, since this is greater than or equal to that, we can square root both sides. Then its square root is going to be greater than or equal to the square root of this, which actually cuts the power in half. So now we can say that the square root of 2 to the power x squared plus x is greater than or equal to 2 to the power x root x. Notice what we have here. And then we can kind of use it here. If you multiply both sides by two, this is what you're gonna get, two times here and two times here, you're gonna realize that, okay, two to the power, or two times two to the power x squared plus x under the radical is greater or equal to two times two to the power x root x, according to what we have, and we have the other side of the inequality, so we can kind of add that here. So this comes from here, and this is the same thing, and this comes from here. Make sense? I hope it does. Now, here's what I have. This is greater or equal to that from transitive property. We can safely say that, hey, this is force power, so we get two to the power x root x plus one. And this is the exact equation that we have. Well, wait a minute. You said an equation or an inequality? Well, the original problem is asking for, and by the way, I think I just messed up, sorry. It's supposed to be, oops, <laughs> okay. So I had this inequality and then I will write this as a sum of course, two to the power x squared plus two to the power x. As a result, this will be greater than that. So now, and this should be changed as well because it's incorrect, right? Like this, okay, cool. And then this is exactly the same equation that we had. But what does that mean? All of this means that initially these two quantities were equal in order for this to happen. Because you can only have an equality if these two quantities are equal. And when these two quantities are equal, that means x squared equals x, and that means x is zero or x is one. Which brings us to all the solutions because there can be no other solutions, right? AM, GM inequality, guarantees the solutions. And hey, here you can see, I don't know if you can see the zero, but the intersection point at one is clearly visible. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.